Hey Tubes, how are you doing today? Well, thank you so much for tuning in today's awesome vlog. If you're curious on what I am doing today in my room, I would like to give you some more updates about Bluetooth and how it actually works and what type of devices you can actually use by using Bluetooth technology. Now, of course, Bluetooth's been out for a very long time, and it's still pretty good, but the only problem is, the more devices you have connected to it, the more it would jam like Wi-Fi, uh, should I say. But basically, here is my Rocketfish Bluetooth music receiver. Okay, I got this done at Best Buy a long time ago. There's the bit of description if you're curious on what it is okay and of course here's a couple of the power and a couple of different audio outs as well this is for your digital this is for your analog but basically what we're going to be showing you is how to play music wireless from your old desktop computer with my old stereo system by using this Bluetooth music receiver. Of course, there was an indicator light right there. Uh, basically, I'm going to show you step by step on how you can pair it and how you connect it to your system. It's very simple, very easy. You can actually understand it. But all right, let's get to it and see what we can do with the old e-machine chip near here. This also has a Bluetooth adapter, but it does not actually have Bluetooth built into the computer. Okay? You're gonna need a couple things. I'm gonna show you that as well. You gotta say, Chris, is it 100% wireless? Uh, yes and no. The Bluetooth side of things is wireless, but you still have to connect wires to able to use your device, basically. Alright, I got my old Toshiba stereo ready to go. If you're curious, a beautiful old machine. Still works fantastic. Down here, what we need to do is we need to plug in the 5 volt power uh, DC and the audio output. First thing I always like to do is connect the audio out first. Very simple to connect it. Then you take your power, connect it up. And basically, once you got it all connected, it's going to look like this. Okay? Basically. Now you can see there's a status light right there. Now what you got to do, go to your computer or your old e-machine and see I do have a Bluetooth adapter right there down here at this very bottom is your Bluetooth you want to click on that okay and up top just add a new device and what that's going to do it's going to look for a wireless device from over there to also over here. Now you click on this Bluetooth music receiver. You hit connect. And what it's going to do, it's going to pair this unit over to this unit. You can see it's still kind of flashing. Just got to give it a couple minutes for it to connect. And it should work like it's supposed to. But you can see, we're searching. All right. If your Rocketfish Bluetooth receiver is not connecting to your PC or your old e-machine computer, I'm going to tell you how you can fix that problem. Make sure you turn off any devices that have Bluetooth, like my iPhone, my laptop, uh, my iPod, or even iPads or Android devices. Basically, here's the old 
eMachine desktop. And yes, it does have Bluetooth. It uses a Bluetooth mini dongle right there. But let's go ahead and go over here to my stereo system. Basically, just unplug it for a couple minutes, uh, five minutes would do. And let's go ahead and restore power back to your unit. Okay, this is how you troubleshoot your problem with your Rocket Fish Bluetooth music receiver. You can see I have a salt light. That means it is connecting to this over here and not to anything else. Alright, let's go to your old fashioned start menu. Okay, and go into control panel. Go into sounds. All right, it says Bluetooth uh, headphones, but it's actual my Bluetooth rocket fish. Go ahead and minimize this or close out of that. All right, basically what this is helps you if it's going to play in music. Now it's not an option. Go back to your uh, start menu. Go back into your uh, devices and printers. Make sure it is connecting to your system. Okay. Loading software, I can see. Connected. Awesome. Now we can demonstrate on how it actually works, basically, with a lot of music. After I've been troubleshooting the issue with my Bluetooth Rocket Fish receiver and the ASOL Bluetooth adapter for the old e-machine computer, we finally figured out the problem. Um, you know my wireless mouse and keyboard has its own uh, adapter uh, basically, sometimes that might interfere with the unit itself. Don't know why, but it seems it does. But basically what we got going on here is the music from YouTube itself. I can play this because it's perfectly fine for YouTube, basically. Now, of course, there is the adapter right there. And of course, if you kind of play them over here, we finally have a solid blue light on the Bluetooth Rocket Fish unit. All right, well, let's go ahead and demonstrate some music uh, for my fans. Hopefully it doesn't go skip, skip, skippy, skippy because it half times does that, don't know why. Sometimes it's weird. And see, music's playing perfectly fine wireless. Awesome. And by the way, yes, I am using this from YouTube itself. Okay. Sounds pretty good. Okay. Basically, it does work, and yes, and it can also work with iTunes itself. But again, iTunes is a bit fiddly sometimes. You just gotta make sure you hit the right play function uh, on your unit. And yes, it does work. It's just fiddly. One thing I did forget to mention, anytime you're going to be using your Bluetooth devices or whatever, make sure you go into this setting right here is sounds basically. What this is going to help you is figure out if the music is actually playing through the adapter over here and also over there. And by the way, yes, this is uh, wireless, should I say. Okay, both of these devices are wireless. Bluetooth on that side and Bluetooth on the old e-machine. But all right, let's go ahead and play it on track here from YouTube. And one thing is, make sure you have this. Okay. Now, what's the difference of my music 
versus YouTube's music. Well, the music on my iTunes account over here, this is all considered uh, copyright material, basically. But I am using a free music from YouTube itself. But yeah, there you go. Basically, it looks pretty good. And also, make sure you have a salt light. Now, of course, you can't tell on this guy because it's all black. Does he even have a light? It should, but you can't really see it. But there you go. That's how I hook it up. Well, I hope I kind of helped you out by figuring out and troubleshooting your uh, Bluetooth Rocketfish music receiver by using the Acer uh, Bluetooth adapter USB. Basically, it's just a very simple system, but sometimes when you don't use your uh, unit that much, sometimes what can happen is interference from on devices can also make this not work proper. Basically, like my iPhone, my computer, my laptop, or my iPod or an Android device. But the problem is, you gotta make sure if you're going to be using this device, you gotta make sure it's only paired to whatever device you wanna use it. And yes, Bluetooth is a very good technology, but it has its ups and downs, like basically like anything else. But basically, this is what my unit is. It's just taking an old system like this turning it into something a brand new technology without physically upgrading your actual receiver itself but you know what i just hope this actually helps you to figure out the issue with your bluetooth rockfish receiver all right well uh, there you go Basically, you just have to kind of figure it out and uh, monkey around with it a little bit and troubleshoot what the issue is with your equipment or what's interfering with your system itself. But all right, if you guys and girls are interested in this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Leave an awesome comment down below. Please like, please share. Peace out. We'll hopefully see you in the future vlog. Have fun. Monkey around with your Bluetooth equipment. It's awesome.